Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Techie Code Buddy. I hope you are doing extremely well and your placement preparation is also going well. Well guys, first of all, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed this channel till now, then do consider subscribing this channel as this really motivate me to make more such content for you and for your placement preparation. Right? So let's start with the video now. So in this video, we are going to solve some exchanger questions that are recently asked and that will be very helpful for you in your upcoming exam. So this is the very first question from Sodo course and here is the question. If a value equals to 1 and b value equals to 1, then there is a function. What we need to do is, first of all, a value is 1 and b value is also 1. Now here in the second line, if a and b, so this and is bitwise end. So we need to convert them into binary, right? So A and B, that means 1 and 1 is less than B plus A. So V value is 1, A value is 1, so it will become 2 only. And, and this is the logical end. A or B, so A value is 1 or 1 is less than 3 minus A. So what was the value of A? A was 1, so 3 minus A will become 2 only. Right, so this is in this bracket and this is in this bracket. So now we need to convert them into uh, binary. Yeah, so one and one. So it will give us one only because when we convert it into binary, so we will get 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Let's perform the end operation. So it will become one and all are zero. So it will become one only. So this will give us one. One is less than two. And here is the logical and ones or one. So, if we uh, take the ZOR operation of this, so what we will get? We will get 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And in ZOR operation, how does it work? Like, if both the values are same, then in that case, it will return us 0. So, here the both values are same, so 0, 0, 0, 0. So, it will return us 0 is less than 2. So, let's check for the condition. 1 is less than 2, so this will give us 1. That means true. 0 is less than 2, so this will again give us true. So, true and true will become true only. So, we will come into the if part and in the if part, we need to update the value of V. So, V value will be updated to 3 plus A plus B. So, what was the value of A and B? 1 and 1. So, it will become 2 and the V value will become 5 only. In the next line, in this line, line number 4, we have to convert, uh, sorry, we have to find out the value of A. So, A was 1 previously plus 1 plus b. b is 5 from here so a will become 7 right and at the line number 5 what we have to do we have to make a call for the function but the argument will got changed so a plus b so at the place of a plus b what we will do we will add a and b so 7 plus 5 will become 12 comma b so v is 5 minus v v is 5 okay so this is our answer basically this is our answer so first of all let me erase all the unnecessary stuff so that we can move further so when we will go in the function then again what we need to do we need to check for the condition if a and b so this time a value is 12 from here so 12 and b b is 5 only right and is less than b plus a that means 5 plus a is 12 as of now and a or b so a value is 12 or b b value is 5 is less than 3 minus a a value is 12 all right so what it will become it will become 12 and 5 so we need to convert them into binary then we will uh, have to find out the answer so 12 will become just a minute 8 4 2 1 so 12 will become 1 1 0 0 and 5 will become 0 1 0 1 okay Let's find out the end. So how does end work? End work like if both the values are 1, then in that case only it will return us 1. So here 0 and 1. So this will return us 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So what it is actually? It is, it is 4. So 4 is less than 12 plus 5. That means 17. And 12 or 5. So let's find out the 12 or 5. So let's uh, come here. 1, 1, 0, 0 is the value of 12 and 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. So, let's find out the ZOR. So, ZOR works when both the values are different. So, it will give us 1. So, here both the values are different. So, it will give us 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, what it will become actually? 8, 4, 2, 1. So, it will become 9. 
right? So it will become nine is less than minus nine. Three minus twelve will become minus nine. So what it will give? Fourteen. Uh, four is less than seventeen. So this will return us one. But nine is less than minus nine. So it will return us zero. So one and zero will become zero only. So the condition will become fail, and we will out of the if part. And we will jump out here at this line. So what we need to return? Return v minus a. So what was the value of v? V was five. And what was the value of a? A was twelve. A was twelve from here. So what it will return? Minus seven. It will return. And this minus seven will return to here. So minus seven minus five will become minus twelve. And minus twelve will be the final answer. So option number C. Option number C will be the correct answer for this question. I hope it makes sense. I hope it is clear to you. So let's move on to the next question now. So the next question is: Here are some integers p, q, r, and we are setting some values to them. All right. Now at the line number third, what we do? Three plus p. So p value was three only. So it will become six. So this time p value is six. All right. Now here in the if condition, we need to check for some conditions. So p plus q. That means six plus Q value was five is less than R plus P. So R was four plus P. P was six. So six plus five will become eleven is less than ten. So this condition will become false and we will jump out here in the else part. And in the else, Q equals to six plus R. So six plus R value was four. So it will become ten. That means Q value is ten. All right. Then we need to come here at print statement. So p plus q plus r. So what was the last updated value of p was six plus q was ten plus r was four only. So what it will become six plus four ten plus ten. So it will become twenty. So twenty option number C will be the correct answer over here. I hope it makes sense. I hope it is clear to you. So let's move on to the next question now. So the next question is again from pseudo codes and here are some integers p p q q r r. We are setting some values to them. All right. Now at the line number third, we have to update the value of R. I am writing as R only, right? Not double R. All right. So twelve and eleven. So let's first convert them into binary. Why? Because this is the bitwise end. So we need to convert them into binary. So twelve binary will be eight four two one. This is the shortcut to convert them into binary. So to make twelve, what we will do? We will use eight plus four. So we will mark the one and one, and remaining places are zero. And for eleven, eight plus three, right? So eight plus three, and this one is zero. So let's find out the end. So zero one zero zero one zero one zero zero one one one. So what it will become actually? It will become eight plus pp. Pp was six, so this value will become forty. Now from here we have to convert the. Uh, we have to find out the value of. Q. So it will become P P plus Q Q. So P value was six plus Q value was six plus R. R value was fourteen from here. So what it will become? So it will become fourteen plus six, twenty plus twenty six. All right. Now from here P value will be updated to ten and eight. So let's find out the uh, end of these. So ten will become one zero one zero. And eight will become one zero zero. So let's find out the end zero 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 one. So it will become eight only. Eight plus q q q value was twenty six. So it will become thirty four. So here we need to print p p plus q q plus r r. So p value was thirty four plus q value was twenty six plus r value was fourteen. So let's add them. So thirty four, twenty six, and fourteen. Uh, four and four eight and six fourteen. One carries three two five and two seventy four. So seventy four option number C will be the correct answer over here. So let's move on to the next question now. The next question is from logical reasoning, and the question is from statement and conclusion. Right. So the question is here are some statements and here are some conclusion. You have to tell what conclusion is actually. Following the statements, so the first statement is no ink is pen. So let's take a pause here and move on from here. So statement two is some pens are refills. Okay, so let me make the diagram. Some pens are refills. So suppose these are pens, and some 
pens are refills so we can uh, make the diagram like this like these pens are refill also right right the, the highlighted one pens are refill also now statement third is all inks are pencils all inks are pencils so let me make here like this is ink and all the inks are pencils too so we can make it like this right now come on to the statement one no ink is a pen so we can say like no ink is pen right so this can be the diagram now follow the conclusion so conclusion is all pen being refill is a possibility that means kya sare pen uh, refill ban sakte aisi koi possibility hai so if we make the diagram like this like all pens are refill and hold the diagram as, as it is so statement will not be differ or a statement will not get affected so it is the possibility that all the pens can be refill also so statement 1 follows till now now come on to the conclusion 2 some pencils are ink so from here we can see that some pencils are ink so like these pencils these pencils are ink too so conclusion 2 also follows right now come on to the third conclusion third conclusion is some ink are pens so some ink like these are inks and these are pens so we have already said that no ink is pen then how can we say like some ink can pen so this conclusion is false here this is not follow so the only one and two conclusion are follow so option number a will be the correct answer for this question i hope it makes sense i hope it is clear to you so let's move on to the next question now the next question is from blood relations in so there are six persons a b c d e and f c is the sister of f so let's make the diagram here c is the sister uh, minus sign is for representing the female character and plus sign i will be using for male character right so c is the sister of f so if uh, she is sister so they must be in the same generation and f okay c is the sister of f now here f gender is not defined yet okay so we will not mark either female or male now come on to this line b is the brother of e's husband okay so move from here uh, we will uh, see it later now b is the father of a and grandfather of f so from here we can conclude or we can correlate d is the father of a and grandfather of f so father of uh, i'm making this diagram here only right so that it will be spacious for me now d is the father of a and grandfather of f that means f father and d is the father of f's father tabhi to uske grandfather honge so d is the grandfather of f and a uh, d is the father of f okay so d is the father of uh, sorry d is the father of a so d is the father of a and grandfather of f so uh, grandfather of f okay so he the a must be male because uh, this is why d is the grandfather of f so a must be male now f must be male right now there are two fathers three brothers and a mother in the group so we have missed one line here like b is the brother of e's husband right b is the brother of e's husband so e's husband that means e must be the female and here we have seen uh, that there are two fathers three brothers and a mother in group so if a mother is required here so the female will be mother for sure so she will be the uh, wife of a right and she will be the wife of a and v is the brother of e's husband e's husband that means a's brother will be v now we can see that there are uh, two fathers d and a are fathers three brothers b and a are brothers and also f is brother to f is the brother of c so who is the mother so e is the mother from here we can see that e is the mother of c and f so e will be the mother of these two children right now let's solve this question 
P is the brother of Q and R. So P is the brother of Q and R. Now Q and R gender is not defined here, so we will not mark any gender. Now T is the T is P's father. So if T is P's father, so T must be the father of these three only because they are all siblings together. Now which of the following statement cannot be definitely true? So the first statement is T is Q's father. So T is Q's father. So yeah, T must be Q's father. Okay, so it is true. S is P's mother. So, uh, S is R's mother from here. We can see that S is R's mother. So if R is here, so S must be the wife of T and S is the mother of R. Now the option is S is P's mother. So if these three are siblings together, so S must be the mother of P too. Right, so this statement is also correct, or we can say this option is also correct. Now, P is S son. So, P is S and yes, P gender has been defined that P is the son of S and T. So, this is also correct. So, the remaining one will be the uh, correct answer that this is not true. Q is T son. Q is T son. Here we have seen that Q's gender is not defined yet, whether he is a male or uh, uh, like female. So, if Q gender is not defined here, so we cannot conclude that whether uh, he or she, right? So, option number D will be the correct answer for this question. So, let's move on to the next question now. The next question is a statement and argument. There is a statement and you have to tell that what argument is strong. So, the statement is, should people of India be refrained from eating junk foods? And the arguments are, no, because fast food restaurants will get shut if people will stop junk food and the argument too is yes because it will make the people obvious and unhealthy so the option number two like argument two is uh, more strong than the argument one because uh, here we are talking about our health so health is wealth only so argument two has the most uh, has much priority than the argument one so only argument two is strong here we will mark Right, so let's move on to the next question. Okay, so the next question is from the uh, series. So 40, 200, 700, 1400 and then what should be the next digit? Okay, so what we are doing here like 40 into 5. If we do, so we will get 200. Right, then 200 into um, 3.5. If we do, so we will get 700. Right. And if we do 700 into 2, so what we will get? We will get 1400. And if we do 1400 into 0 0.5, so what we will get? We will get 700. So 700 will be the answer. Now, what is the logic? The logic here is that, first of all, we have multiplied with 5. Then we have uh, subtract 1.5 from it. So we will get 3.5. Then we will uh, subtract 1.5 again and we will get 2. Then 2 minus 1.5. Then we will get 0 0.5. And then at last we just multiplied with 0 0.5 and we will get 700 as the answer. So it was the logic behind it. So yeah, let's move on to the next question. Okay, so the next question is find the missing term in the series given below. So the series is just a minute. Okay, so ink and dash C T C Z W Y. So let's give them number. I is on ninth place, N is on fourteenth place, K is on eleventh place. C is on third place, T is on twentieth place, C is on third place, Z is on twenty sixth place. It is on 23th place. It is on 25th place. Okay. So, if I take my steps, three steps forward. So, where I will reach? 1 to 26, then 26 to 1. Right? Uh, this should be the uh, criteria. So, where I will reach? I will reach from 26 to 1, 2, 3. So, I will reach at 3. So, I have reached at 3. Then again, I will take three steps forward. So, I will reach at 6 right then i will again take three step forward so i will reach at 9 so it is the pattern for first letter so at the place of this so it should be 6 like 6 is f 
right so option should be starts from f so option should be can can be a or can be c right now for the next 23 minus 20 uh, sorry 23 and then 20 so we are subtracting minus 3 again 20 minus 3 so it will become 17 and then again 17 minus 3 so it will become 14 so the same pattern is following here so at this place 17th value should come so it will become q now fq now for this 25 and we are adding 4 to the it now 26 1 2 3 so we have add 4 here again we have it uh, again we will add 4 here so what we will get we will get 7 again 7 and 4 will become 11 so at the place of 7 what it is uh, 7 so it will be g so fqg fqg so option number a will be the correct answer over here let's move on to the next question but let me make some space so that it will be easy for you okay so crime m v s w o then r g x v t and here is the space now let's give them number 3 18 9 5 13 13 2 19 23 15 18 7 24 2 20 right so as we can see here that uh, he, uh, these are in continuous form like so if I add 5 in this so I will get 18 if I add 5 in this so I will get 7 if I add 5 in this so I will get 24 if I add 5 in this I will get 2 in the alphabetical order if I get uh, if I add 5 in 15 then I will get 20 so we have find out the pattern so we have to just 3 plus 5 it will become 8 18 plus 5 it will become 23 so 8 place is h 23 is uh, um, 23 is w right yeah 23 is w then 9 plus 5 will become 14 so 14 will be n and 5 and 5 will become 10 so 10 should be uh i misspelled it sorry <laughs> i misspelled it so it is crime okay i misspelled it uh, it's my mistake but the pattern will be uh, follow so 5 plus 5 uh, right 13 plus 5 will become 18 so at the place of 18 what it is r so h w uh, s w n r j it will be the pattern so option number a will be the pattern over uh, sorry option will be the correct answer over here so let's move on to the next question now the next question is guys uh, to be honest, I didn't find out the answer of this question. I didn't find out the pattern. But if anyone is here who can solve this question, just comment and I will highly appreciate him or her. So it's your responsibility to solve this. Uh, also, I will try to solve this and I will put the answer in the Telegram group if I will be able to solve this question. As of now, I'm unable to solve this question. I couldn't find out the pattern. I don't know why. So you have to solve this question if you can do it. Right, so let's move on to the next question now. Okay, so the next question is in the certain language, pine is coded as this. So, pine is coded as O, Q, H, J, M, O, D, F. So, the pattern is so simple. O, P, Q, H, I, J, M, N, O, D, E, F. Now we have to find out the pattern for zeta. So O P Q, right? So it would be Y Z A D E F S T U Z A V. So it should be the pattern Y. Okay. So option number D will be the correct answer. Y. So yeah, that's all for today from my side. I hope all the questions are clear to you and all the things are clear to you. But still, you have doubts, then you can ask me in the comment section or on the Telegram community. Okay, so yeah, let's meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.